children today we are going to see unit 1 poem the real wealth children what is wealth wealth means money jewelry and properties like house or land let's learn what is real wealth come on children the real wealth parent bring us to this soil and will never let us get spoiled they earn our daily bread and wish to see us shoot ahead what this line say let us know the meaning parents means both father and mother they are the one who brought us to this beautiful earth our parents will never allow us to get spoiled parents work out to provide us our basic needs like food and clothes brother always fight for his share but if someone hurts us he can't bear sister words you never done she is next to parents in care children we all know brothers usually fight for their share whatever may be they will not give up but if someone hurts you he can't be quiet and he will fight for you sister's words you never dare you can't reject your sister's words because they are next to parents in care a good friend is with you in all deeds and stays last for all your needs relationships are the real wealth nurture them like your health children we should keep good friends because they are the one who travel throughout your life in both good and bad our relatives are the real wealth so we have to treat them well like how we take care of ourselves show care and affection with all your zest it will take care of the rest children show care and affection to your parents brothers sisters friends and relatives with all your zest that is with all your energy they will automatically take care of you throughout your life now let us sing the poem again parent bring us to this soil and will never let us get spoiled they earn our daily bread and wish to see us shoot ahead brother always fights for his share but if someone hurts us he can't bear sister's words you never dare she is next to parents in care a good friend is with you in all deeds and stays last for all your needs relationships are the real wealth nurture them like your health show care and affection with all your zest it will take care of the rest children i hope you enjoyed the poem now let us see a short and funny story title of the story is a true friend nandini and pandi were good friends since childhood they lived in the same street every day pandi would stop at nandini's home on the way to school they took part in school activities together they helped each other in their lessons one day pandi came to nandini's home she looked upset and sad pandi asked her why are you sad she did not answer she shook her head did your parents scold you asked pandi she did not answer him nandini walked into the classroom slowly she looked sad one of her friends in the class asked nandini did someone scold you nandini shook her head the teacher entered the classroom and started 
calling out the names for attendance. Nandini did not answer when the teacher called her name. The teacher became angry. This time she called her name louder. Nandini, she raised her hand but did not answer. The teacher went near Nandini. She touched her forehead and asked, Are you feeling okay? Nandini shook her head. Pondi had never seen Nandini so dull. So, he wanted an idea to make her smile. He had an idea. He took out something from his bag and ran to show it to Nandini. She saw something flying towards her and screamed with fear. She closed her eyes and tried to catch it. It was a big green frog. Nandini's eyes were wide open with surprise. It was a rubber frog. She laughed. Two of her front teeth were missing. Children, I hope you enjoyed the story. Today's homework. Page number 78. Match the rhyming words. Thank you children.